It's time to get down to business on the weekend's number one business program. Known as the king of networking, your host, Shalom Klein, has worked with thousands of entrepreneurs and created countless jobs. So, to success, let's get down to business. We are all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship and business. We talk a lot about business here. You're on with Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts from Get Down to Business on my website at shalomklein.com. And while you are there, don't forget to follow me at Shalom Klein. Uh, it's a jam-packed program. Uh, we've got a great lineup for you, beginning with my friend Maureen Wozniak, who's joining me here in studio. But we've got uh, some fantastic guests throughout the program. We're powered by our good friends at Tandem HR, your solution center. Give them a call, 630-928-0510, 630-928-0510, or check out their website, tandemhr.com. You can also call us here in studio. If you have questions, comments, feedback, we are at 312 642 5600. So as promised, first up on the program, joining me here in studio is a friend who I haven't seen in quite a while, Maureen Wozniak, who is a major uh, accounts manager at the Chicago Better Business Bureau. Maureen, welcome to the program. Thank you, Shalom. Absolutely. So Maureen, um, I've uh, known you through, uh, through the world of business and mm-hmm. you speak the language of business, which is why this topic is so appropriate. And I'm so excited to have it with you. So Maureen, let's start with what is the Better Business Bureau? I know we've, we've talked with some of your colleagues in the past, but for those that are not familiar, what does the, the Better Business Bureau uh, actually do? Well, actually, we're the nation's largest self-regulatory agency. We're a nonprofit, which a lot of people don't know. And we actually, what we do is try to advance marketplace trust. So we have a community of trusted companies that belong to us. It's a membership organization. Now, not every company can be um, invited to join the Better Business Bureau based on their track record. But what we do is that we try to advance marketplace trust. And uh, throughout our conversation, I, I'm certainly going to want to uh, discuss both what the consumer experiences as well as what a business experiences. But let's stick on that theme for a moment regarding the consumer. Um, obviously, you have very high standards mm-hmm. because you know that people are often going through the website, giving, uh, giving the Better Business Bureau a call, and asking about a company's reputation. So what sort of standards do you have in place? Why would one company be recommended and another perhaps would be frowned upon? Well, actually, we don't recommend any particular company. We believe that our format is to have each company stand on their own merit. So we have eight pillars, uh, what we call the eight pillars of ethical company behavior. And we look at every company and put those pillars, and that's how we come up with our rating. So those, uh, the eight, um, you know, concerns marketplace trust and um, advertising honestly, telling the truth, be transparent, and safeguard privacy, which is one of our newest initiatives. But actually, every company that um, in the marketplace re offer a rating for people, not only consumers, but business people to come and check out that business and to find out, are they a good ethical business in the marketplace? That's really important because um, certainly many people have experiences, and I know that especially in this day and age, people are, uh, should be vocal about their experiences. They should share uh, when perhaps they they feel uh, that they have they, that they may have been slighted, mm-hmm. and uh, and and that's important. And I know that the Better Business Bureau nationwide has a reputation for being that uh, that sort of that clearinghouse for some of that information to ensure that consumers and uh, certainly our audience are business owners. Before you do business with somebody, check with the Better Business Bureau and find out um, what their reputation may be. So, uh, Maureen, obviously you are uh, in the Chicago office. Mm-hmm. So the Better Business Bureau that services the Chicagoland area, what is the region that your office and your team covers? We service northern Illinois. Just take the state of Illinois and divide it in half. We go to the Wisconsin border, Iowa border, the Indiana border. And we have roughly about 9,000 accredited companies here in northern Illinois, but we service everyone within our community. 
And so whether you're accredited as a business or not, or a, a person who is, is looking to do business with a company, um, so you don't have to be a member to have our services. We give our services away for free for everyone, every business. We, it's so funny because when people, when I talk to people, they constantly know us as a consumer, but they don't know us as a business owner. We are here to service business owners too. That's great. And uh, Maureen, in preparing for today's uh, conversation, I found a little known fact that actually your website is actually very, very heavily trafficked. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Thank you, Shalom. (laughs) Actually, we're one of the most heavily trafficked websites in North America. As a nonprofit, we're not out there really saying that in the marketplace because that's not what we're all about. But because people trust us. We have one of the most heavily trafficked websites, but not only do people trust us, so does Google. So when you type in a company's name and you type in that word review, a keyword, you want to review that company, more times than not, Google's going to place our information right there on that first page. It's imperative. I feel sorry for business owners today that they're constantly having to be out there on the, on the Internet telling people that they're a good ethical company what we try to do is give them that format and that platform to go out and say, you can trust us. Even if they're not a member of the BBB, we are happy to say that they're a trustworthy company. But that torch, that, that logo that so many people are, are, are so, uh, it, it's so common and, 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 and so popular, that means that somebody has actually gone through the process that they have actually been, yes. uh, is the word vetted? That's right. I'm glad you asked that. So. Companies or business people look to become accredited and support what we do in the community. And we have as big as companies as Zurich Insurance or A.J. Gallagher, Walgreens Discover, all the way down to one to two employee companies here as members. And many of them get accredited because they want to tell people whether you're looking to work for them or you're looking to do business with them that they're a good company they'll be taken care of. And other time companies want to just join because they like what we do in the community. McDonald's is a member of the Better Business Bureau. They're not going to sell you more hamburgers because they're a credit, but they like what we do. They have thousands of employees that we help here in Chicago every day. Every time I buy a hamburger, I always look to see. Uh, <laughs> to see, uh, I look for an accredited business only. I knew only. I liked you, Shalom. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, certainly the Better Business Bureau, I love that, I love that point, that uh, y- the company, the organization, I should say, yep. is certainly very involved in community, but also very involved in monitoring. Uh, certainly right now we've just been uh, actually Actually talking uh, uh, before we came on the air about the hurricanes um, yes. and and there's a lot of unfortunately bad people that are out there that that like to I hate to use the word but scam yeah. um, other people and I know that your team is uh, on guard for those for those efforts and you alert um, through media and I know we featured some of those stories on this program yes Steve Burness is our CEO he's on TV all the time trying to educate people um, here locally about the local scams But you can come to our website. We constantly are posting. We just did a whole um, post around the hurricane and what we're identified some bad, nefarious players that are already trying to take advantage of it. So definitely come to the BBB. Not only uh, we have a part of the BBB called give.org, G-I-V-E.org, that accredits every charity out there. Um, All our services are free to the community. And as you asked earlier, Shalom, about becoming a member, that's why a lot of uh, businesses like to become members of the BBB is because what we do here for the community and try to keep their employees safe. Well, that's a uh, message that resonates with me. It's a message that resonates with all of our listeners. And believe it or not, Maureen, our time mm-hmm. is running out. And I want to make sure that our listeners can get a hold of you, whether they own a business or certainly they want to learn more about the Better Business Bureau because something you said about community involvement resonates with them. How can they get a hold of you? Best way to get a hold of me is my office phone, which is 312-477-7441. Fantastic. Maureen Wozniak, the major accounts manager at the Better Business Bureau serving uh, Chicago and Northern Illinois. Great organization. It's a pleasure to have you, and I look forward to having you back on the program. For our listeners uh, that didn't jot that down the first time, let's get your number one more time. It's 312-477-7441. Or just go to bbb.org and you can find our contact information. Fantastic. Well, appreciate you coming on the air. Appreciate you coming into the studio with your wonderful family. (laughs) Um, You can uh, get on my Facebook page, Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein. We are actually streaming the show uh, through Facebook Live. 
Uh, you could always download podcasts from our conversation today with Maureen Wozniak from the from the Better Business Bureau, once again servicing uh, Chicago and the in Northern Illinois. And that podcast and all of our conversations today will be posted on the website about an hour after the program. You can follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. Once again, we are powered by our good friends at Tandem HR, your solution center. Check them out online, tandemhr.com, or give them a call, 630-928-0510. Coming up, we are going to be talking with a fantastic entrepreneur. He's going to tell us a little bit about some of his experiences. This is the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. We're going to be back in just a moment. Chicago, don't touch that dial. Check out my website, shalomkline.com, where you can download the podcast. We'll be right back and get down to business. Bye.